in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed hallelujah keep praying Sheba kota sita bala da bala. Dem broto supra to shapara ata bala. Rapa koto supra tiki di bala da bala. Lord, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, you are changing our lives. In the name of Jesus, we'll never be the same. You are making mysteries out of us. Sheba roto supra tiki 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 tiki. Hallelujah. 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 I really want to commend our seriousness. When God calls you to dwell in his presence every day, it's because he's doing something in your life. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a few minutes. I just want to encourage us and then we will pray. Hallelujah. one of the please those outside make sure you participate one of the killers of grace one of the killers of impact one of the killers of a life of color and beauty is pride vain glory I have seen in my little life, I've seen people rise to the top and crash back. Hallelujah. One of the, one of the, the worst comments that can be made about a man is I remember the days when this person used to be mighty. There are pastors with those kinds of testimonies. I remember when the hand of God used to be upon my life. I remember when ministry used to expand I taught a message I think two or three years ago called the secret of sustained glory please you can get it after the service and listen to it there is nothing as ugly as tasting increase greatness honor and crashing down and becoming a monument of warning to others and they say beware of so 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 person pride let me tell you something it's my personal opinion now sin is sin but if i were to arrange sin i consider pride to be worse than fornication hallelujah pride that that mystery that has destroyed people you see let me tell you something when god begins to lift you satan is not a fool he will study your vulnerability you are not given to women satan will not carry a lady and come and destroy you he knows that you have built capacity to resist it he will not use money but he knows that enshrined in every man is the desire to receive the accolades of men and this is where the mighty fall what a woman may not be able to do in the life of a man or, the, or a man as it is. What money may not be able to do. What persecution will not be able to do. You will stab yourself with pride. Vain glory. That affinity for the applause of men. And let me tell you something. God is speaking to us to warn us. I have seen people. I have watched people. I have watched them nurture the seed of pride. I have watched them nurture it carefully to grow. 
the first sign that pride pride is at work in your life is that submission becomes an embarrassment to anybody to anything submission becomes an embarrassment it's a sign that you're already dying from pride not just submission to a man of god submission to principles oh everyone lift up your hands and you just stand and you're watching lift up your hands for what now eh the seed of pride submission thank you very important galatians 5 26 we just look at two scriptures i really want to challenge us on this because i have seen this thing kill people men women i've seen and you know the, the the interesting thing about god is he gives you a measure of what he really intends giving you and watches your reaction and many of us shock god and shock ourselves with pride and arrogance let us not be desirous of vain glory vain glory vain glory and a sign that the desire of vain glory is at work in you is that you begin to provoke people you begin to envy vain glory you see there are two dimensions to pride i want us to pray against today the first dimension is we were discussing i think with Ejimi earlier on this morning and he was just asking me a few questions and we're really discussing very interesting discussion there are two dimensions to pride the first is the one you organize for yourself so i can sit down right now apostle joshua selman the great man of god and i find some of the leaders and some of the people pastor alpha pastor femi all the people and i say look create a scenario that drums my impact before everybody so it's arranged on purpose are we together now that's the first dimension of pride so whether it is by creating certain names or creating certain things you you create a system and that's not honor because i seek to use people to establish my relevance as against their own relevance now the second dimension of pride is where many of us are victims of and we don't know you may not create the seed but it is a desire you lost in your heart and the day someone else creates it you will jump at it hallelujah you will jump at it you may never ask anybody to open <laughs> look listen to me and learn and grow and walk in power someone may look at you and say ah um you may never tell anybody to call you great man of god but it's a desire in your heart and the day somebody says do you know you are such an awesome man you say what did you say can you repeat it again he only stimulated something that has been there waiting for occasion to find expression many of us think because we are not the ones arranging the scenario it means we are free from pride sometimes humility is it takes effort you must reject certain you must peg honor and say no this has come too far it must remain here by yourself i watch men of god on tv sadly i don't criticize men of god but i have watched people and i see like you pour cold water on a thirsty soul that's how they drink pride they drink it as members in you see honor has a boundary once you cross that boundary it no longer becomes honor the character of pride is that you find fault in the glory of others so the character of pride is everybody must be down for you to be satisfied if we are all lifted you are not satisfied because the goal of pride is to attempt to show the excellency of your stature as against somebody so pride does not um, is not satisfied when you are lifted it checks if others are down when they are down then you are satisfied are you getting that now so if we say oh thank you pastor alpha thank you ebenezer thank you ejimi ebenezer gets angry and say no 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 if you had said thank you pastor alpha um but i'm disappointed in you 
hey jimmy you didn't do well but you are exceptional he says now you have honored me because you have honored me by contrasting others that's the spirit of pride so it wants to stand alone there are men of god who have created all kinds of theologies in their ministry to downplay any once they see an offshoot of true grace they strangle it with teachings they threaten people with causes because there is insecurity locked up in them hallelujah are we together now vain glory a lost for the praise of men it's amazing how we look for it we beg for it we organize programs for it we organize sons and daughters for it you see men of god running around can you make my birthday i mean make noise with it so t-shirt so ankara and put everything just make sure everybody around knows and we laugh it's a dangerous thing i always say this bless people and give them the option of appreciating you by themselves they will surprise you they will surprise you i run away from pride ego like a cancer there are men of god who do not see eyeball to eyeball because somebody was called mister by mistake i remember i think my people will bear me witness we went we were in um i think it was enugu towards the end of last year and i went to minister in a crusade there and it was a great meeting people came around and there was a gentleman i think he's a pastor pastor's son so they introduced him mistakenly they said brother so 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 and so i saw the way the guy moved you know with anger and insults to my grace you don't know who i am and he climbed up the stage and the first thing he said with look my name is pastor so 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 not brother so 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 and he challenged them to correct it and then the next thing he raised one song and said i hope there are ushers here because the power of god will start moving i just said ah yeah my brother you have done two mistakes one you have refused to recognize grace let me tell you when you enter a place where there is a higher grace if you don't if you don't honor it even your angelic activity will be seized there is ranking in the spirit that's why jesus looked for john the baptist who is the man with the mantle in the city and when he submitted and acknowledged him his own ministry opened up i said this boy is a very foolish boy you came and you saw pastors all over pastors you will not see you don't even know who they came to honor you don't know why they are there you see some of us are cheated because we don't know how to take advantage of opportunities god gives you a privilege to stand in the midst of people that you never would have had access to and you blew it because of pride god wants to announce your ministry and he gives you an opportunity to take offering in a church that on a good day you should not even be found in front and you come up and say i just want to let you know that my email address is uh so 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 and so and so and i don't attend to calls anyhow in fact the way the ministry is growing now how many members 20 30 45 there's a young man i will not mention his name in the body of christ he had contact to benny him very small boy benny him prophesied his birth many of you may know him this little boy had unusual access I saw the way Benihin was lifting him because Benihin took him like a son. Within weeks, his ministry exploded. And this guy will be arrogant on stage. Imagine sharing the stage with an authority like Benihin. And one time I watched the guy. He was talking and he looked at Mike Mudok. He said, get a pen, get a pen, quickly. Get a pen and a book. And I was watching him. And he said, write this. It was an accurate prophecy. But when he wrote everything, I said, this guy's grace has died. He didn't reach one year. Have you not seen people rise up in the church? I'm not going to mention names, but you know. People rise up and it's like God just withdraws the grace. Pride. Pride is dangerous. Dangerous. And so that gentleman, he said, I hope they are ushers. Please, I want you to station yourself, move around because the spirit of prophecy is upon me. I, I sang one song, sang another. The people were angry. They were tired. They came with hunger. You know imagine that kind of thing they gave him time he obviously overshot the time and then he started prophesying now everybody lift up your hands 
right now the power of god will move people waited five minutes is always pride leads to destruction embarrassment and so on and so forth that guy did his best he may have seen grace walk in his church and he did not know the protocol of maintaining it god would have honored that guy in no small way if he allowed god to lift him and the guy got up and made noise and was challenging the people because they always would look for an excuse moved around one lady two ladies and he left with all kinds of disappointment back to his seat brothers and sisters at the end of that meeting this guy was shocked and he stood do you know it's painful when you make noise over something and it doesn't happen and somebody else comes and is so effortless the more it happens the more people say can you see this is what you would have been pride is dangerous is God speaking to us? The Bible says when you enter a place, sit at the back. It's a principle. When you enter a place, let your work speak for you. Don't speak for it. Proverbs 31, he said, let her work speak for her at the gate. You come around with one album and say, I'm, I'm, I'm an anointed, I'm a psalmist. I, my psalmist, if you just give me five minutes, I will, I will surprise you in this church. It's a sign that nobody is a testament of the transformation that has come from your grace but when you allow god lift you listen koinonia i'm teaching you something run away from the quest for vain glory sometimes men will try to do it stop it i was rebuking some of these my young people that i help at, at times i saw some of them and when i see them among their contemporaries i see them standing i say you are already learning this nonsense I remember someone here he used to be here i looked at him one day and i said come and stand here he came and i said you are soon going to fall i see pride eating you up like a cancer and he looked at me he said me i told him i said there are many things i don't claim to know but there are certain things i know i know when a man is about to fall you see there are some of you who will honor anybody above you but when you are among your contemporaries that's when the pride comes you are forced to honor someone above you because of solidarity but when you are among your contemporaries let the power of god begin to move in a meeting and you see the way men of god their body is itching for mic everybody wants to hold the mic when the service is over somebody comes to pick a mic and say hold on give me e we are, we are not done the, what god is doing here all those things we think there's a, there are signs of spiritual maturity there are signs of childishness childishness we went for a meeting in yola we we're going to pray it was a crusade in yola and i was ministering alongside god's servant dr paul and Enche. i know that that's a great man i've seen god honor me but that's a father in the faith god has lifted him I will not sit down and begin to compare my ministry and it will be stupidity of the highest order he's older than me god has honored him god has lifted him he has become a model to the body of christ i know what many of us will do you will try to make sure you snap with him and say i've shared the stage with men like uh, so on and so forth and so forth and you you just sink yourself now. you can ask the protocol I remember his his head of protocol was communicating with victor and he was excited about being my being around he had he heard about me and he wanted he wanted me to be there at the venue right he was actually coming for his own crusade dr paul and then he he was also to minister where i was ministering it was a campus crusade and this is what the protocol said the night i went for the meeting there the power of god was awesome i mean mighty things miracles upon miracles and i knew that the people respect me they respect me so much and if i came there together with dr paul Enche, they will want to honor dr paul Enche, but they will not want to dishonor me so they may try to create the same platform and i rejected i said i'm not going i said i'm not going for the meeting you can ask the head of protocol they said no 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 i should come around you'll be wonderful i said i am not going i told them we're not going anywhere let the servant of god receive the honor due his sacrifice we will come in the evening and finish the meeting many of you will not do that because you are looking for platform one day i went somewhere and one guy just came and stood near me like a thief that we should snap is a pastor i was just looking at him because he will use my picture and take it to his ministry 
and say we ministered with men like uh, this person apostle was there and and think that snapping the picture is an endorsement of his ignorance and carelessness humility entails that you consciously reject certain things not every open door was opened by god you need to know if the timing is right to enter it hallelujah don't think because a door is open and you want to enter no sometimes god can say no your level has not gotten to this although the door is open stay quiet is God speaking to us? This happens in every area of life. That's why many of us will never rise. There are ladies here, you love God. But the day God gives you an opportunity, you'll be amazed at the pride and arrogance. And God is watching. How you are disqualifying yourself and allowing this ancient stumbling block of pride to stop you from stepping into the next level. I fear pride. I run from it hallelujah I, I can't remember where i was sharing this testimony about a woman who um carried something you know load and i saw her and i was in a hurry to help her carry the load no matter how i'm lifted i know that i'm not stupid not at all humility humility there are many of you if if you were the ones who were privileged to stand where i'm standing you see crowds of people inside and outside there will be one pa to clean your left shoe there will be another pa to clean your right shoe are we together there is the one who he will not just give you handkerchief you put your face like this and you will clean it that's what kills men years ago in your campus years ago many people who have been there long ago will tell you there were many pastors on campus ministry i mean somebody will have five members three pas two ladies one guy i want to go on tv ministry you see people holding box as if they are bankers what are they doing i am prophet this i am apostle this i am i remember one pastor came and met me and said man of god what is the, your grace you need to go on air go on radio many of those people some are not even in ministry till now some are still roaming around wondering what to do god himself opposes the proud but he gives grace to the humble i was counseling a gentleman maybe he's here with his mother and the mother said something and the boy just shouted at her ah my name is joshua selman i turned to that boy and i landed it on him i said apologize to mama immediately otherwise you have subtracted your years in life the bible says he that dishonored his father he said his candles will be his candle will be taken and will be left in obscurity honor humility hallelujah humility is god is my witness it's just that the protocol and all these people will never allow me i don't mind coming in the afternoon to clean the benches and do all the things i need to do it doesn't change me it doesn't change me true confidence is not in things around it's in who you are if i clean a chair today it does not make me less anointed listen god is speaking to us this is why some of us cannot be workers in the house of god because we think god has lifted me and people are aware that's the devil destroying you there are ladies today who cannot quietly sweep the house of god because they feel kind there is a man of god i met somewhere he's a pastor and he said he likes me and i'm already imagining myself as a mama let me tell you i know the end of that relationship nonsense let me just tell you in advance because god is not a fool he will not carry his servant that he has been laboring on and then attach you to kill his life i hate pride our daddy is here almost every time prof do you know that i'm even afraid i always tell him that when i grow up i want to be like him a man that is so fulfilled and yet very humble there are all kinds of distinguished people here 
day before yesterday or was it i i introduced them um, um madam laddie and she was even quarreling me she was saying why did i expose her there are lots of other people distinguished people scattered but there are people who will come and stand outside and say tell the protocol i'm around who are you my name is pastor pastor um goodwill something uh, so what i mean you can imagine i came all the way from kaduna let them know that i'm around and give you seat the lord told me if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you you know why some pastors will never have crowd they can preach everything and criticize people who have pride god knows the moment they see crowd the first thing in their mind is how do i get lifted if everybody gives me ten ten thousand it's a lucrative business if everybody does this and that humility by the grace of god almighty i never treat people and say do you know i'm a man of god no it is it is this ministry is a call to serve it's a privilege i'm not embarrassed about it i will say it all the time it's a privilege to serve god i was crying before the lord today and i said lord it's a privilege to serve never replace me with a stone never replace me god has power to replace any man i teach the leaders all the time when we go for leaders meeting the first thing i tell them is guys thank you so much people look at koinonia and they are looking at me but you are the brains behind some of these things that we do do you have the humility to acknowledge the impute of others to your success or do you make it look like they played a little role but after i fasted and prayed no i learned from everyone everyone and i treat people with dignity and humility ask the protocol how many times i've rebuked them just for telling people at the back shift 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 apostle is coming and i tell them never do that never do that i know you need organization you don't come and push people and say apostle is coming so what this is all of me how how big am i that you're asking everybody to shift can't i pass some of us are already enjoying it in our little fellowship you say when i'm coming you are the one who announced my coming you you escort me and i don't know where you are getting that mentorship from it's most certainly not from me i fear god and i've lived as transparent for you to see and learn many of us are learning nonsense we just go to any meeting and we are watching out of all that god is doing we are watching how ah, they gave the woman somebody came and just said oh man of god and you admire it and in your mind you are hoping in your own small fellowship too people now come and say you are standing kneel down. Kneel down. we are going to pray pride is a killer i've seen people who do you know there are people seated here i know them they are millionaires but you see them keep quiet you can match them and they won't say anything but they are wealthy people but there are others with nothing but noise yet it will make all kinds of noise let me tell you great people have a track record of humility that's why they became great you may see certain people there are great men and women of god there are people when i was coming in i saw people i was even saying ah this person is here great people just scattered inside and outside but there are others i am pastor this i am mrs this please we are going to pray brothers and sisters i know this in my little life pride is a killer some of us cannot greet elderly people again you see some of these are mothers and you just push them around and bring a curse upon yourself and your ministry never listen to learn from anything oh i think you should i know i know i know we are fumbling i know when learning becomes an embarrassment to you pride is eating you up you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh 
you are mighty on your throne. Breaks forth down fountains of the deep and weep, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. 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 Listen. The antidote to pride is a public acknowledgement of the value and the impute of others. You don't tear down the achievement of others to prove you are great. That's why you will never hear me open my mouth and mention the name of a man of God or a church or a ministry and castigate them. God is not just the God of Koinonia. There are many other men of God doing great things. And when people start saying, Apostle, you are the only one, I say, be silent. I know that's the voice of pride. That's the voice of a killer on his way to destroy me. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, let it die. Let it die. That affinity for the praise of men. Pray, pray. That affinity for the praise of men on the strength of my accomplishment. On the strength of my accomplishment. Oh God, I lay it down. I lay it down. I lay it down. I lay it down. Pray. Pray. That spirit of pride. That affinity for the praise of men. The praise of men. The praise of men. The praise of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of one of the indices that to measure true humility is how much you acknowledge the impute of God in your success. Are we together? Because chances are that the truth is you have, you you kept certain principles to get that result. So the people can look at you and say Kai no 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 Pastor Alpha at this level you are already almost becoming a doctor and then a professor oh you are doing this I mean you can imagine and all of that is up to you to suddenly change to an usher and say there is one as you see me that's why you see when I go for meetings and the power of God is blessing people there are all kinds of reactions there are those putting their hands on their head what kind of man is this and I'm quick to tell them no what you see this is a puppet there is one behind me there is one who is responsible I don't say it indirectly I say it directly make no mistake there is one who can give and take the grace upon my life I am absolutely nothing Koinonia is absolutely nothing. Thank God for the clap for Joshua Selman. But I am telling you now that this man you are seeing is nothing without the grace and the wisdom of God. I am not embarrassed. I remember where God took me from. From sitting in a gutter to study my Bible and see what God has done. After many years, I've still refused to be a fool. I know that when you acknowledge God, He will lift you. I like you to say, Lord, in all my ways, I will acknowledge you. Lift your voice and pray. In all my ways, in all my accomplishments, in all my achievements, pray. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. When men try to blow the trumpet of me, I direct it to you. In all my ways, I acknowledge you. I will let men see how helpless I am outside of you. Those outside, are you praying? Lekoto koto mesh e prakata lava manta parokotosh rekete tete le ba 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 ba.
Alleluia. You get to a point in your life. Two more prayer points and we're done. This prayer point is strategic. Because in the next two minutes, I want you to list everything in your life that looks like a trophy and say, Lord, it's because of you. If I've never said it, I'm saying it now. Lift your voice. If I have a degree, it's because of you. If I have a PhD, it's because of you. If I'm married, it's because of you. If I'm alive, it's because of you. If I am wealthy, it's because of you. Lift your voice, Koinonia. Acknowledge him. Because of you, you are my wisdom. You are my wisdom. You are my wisdom. You are my wisdom. The force behind this ministry. Lord, we acknowledge you. Lord, I acknowledge you. You are the reason. You are the reason. For my greatness, you are the reason. Hey, for the anointing, you are the reason. Hey, you are the reason why I lift my hands, why I sing the song, why I sing to you. Help me, you are the reason. It's all because of you. Yeah. You are the reason. Yeah. You are the reason. 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 Just the voices. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. Why am I alive? Why the hands of Satan did not destroy me? Why I passed the jump? Why I graduated? Why I got a man to marry me? Why I got a woman to marry me? Why I got a job? Why I got promotion? I will let the world know you are the reason. Yeah. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. hallelujah the last prayer point i like you to say lord from today i become an usher pointing men to you i become an usher when they say what's the secret of your wealth i point them to you what's the secret of your beauty i point them to you what's the secret of your exploit lift your voice and pray lord i will let them know unashamedly unashamedly I will let them know pray when I'm tempted to receive your glory when I'm tempted to share your glory oh convict me convict me you 
Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it in the name of Jesus. I declare that I will let the world know. I will announce to creation that Jesus Christ is the reason for my greatness, for my anointing, for my exploit. And whenever I am tempted to take his glory, to be deceived by the accolades of men, I receive grace to reject the praises of men, to put a limit to the praises of men, that I may reveal Christ in my success, that I may reveal Christ in my lifting, that I may reveal Christ in my greatness. Listen, the purpose of your honor is to reveal Christ. The purpose of the miracles is to reveal Christ. If Christ is not revealed in your activities, you are arrogant. arrogant. Never trivialize the impute of Jesus Christ and say, well, I thank God for the grace of God, but I labored. Stay there. And let men know he's the reason I made up my mind that every time people clap to me I say you are clapping for the wrong person I'm telling you this and I say it with all my heart that's why you don't see people say oh God of Joshua Selman what, what do, how, how many things can I do who can I help I'm, I'm not against people who there is a place for that but I'm telling you brothers and sisters we are too young to begin to allow this foolishness destroy us I'm telling you this I speak to us specifically the young people we are too young to allow the foolishness of the praises of men destroy us we are too, I can clap for daddy we can clap for our mothers they have earned the right through time but a small boy just moving and people begin to blow your head is a way of death we are too young we have read revivals we have read history Bible history and seen how pride destroyed men it was Alexander the way that got to a point where he claimed he was Elijah. That's what pride can do to men. Please, from tonight, hear me, pastors, business people. I like you to make up your mind. If there are a circle of singers and messengers that keep clapping and blowing your head, go back and tell them it's dissolved in Jesus' name. I love you I thank you for honoring me I received the honor but let's bring it down to the limit of my level this honor is too much for the level I've not yet gone far you must have the grace to tell them don't say no 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 daddy you need more tell them look if you call me father then honor me by doing what I'm telling you keep it that way there was a time I stopped the protocol because there were two protocol people carry, coming to Take me. I said, this is nonsense. Please, I'm not ready. A particular PA of a notable man of God in this country one time, a military man, when he came for Koinonia, he was surprised. He saw what God was doing. And he said, man of God, you should not allow people to access you anyhow. I mean, this is terrible. The, the grace, they're abusing the grace. They don't sow into your life. They push you around. People come and I, I was hearing a sincere man, but I was hearing the counsel of Ajitofel sincere man the last time i heard about that man physically speaking he was doing well but spiritually he had died sleeping around doing all kinds of things that was the person who was advising me be careful whose advice you take as you sit down discussing ministry young people hear me as you sit down discussing life and god begins to bless you one million two million five million it blows up your head no you must maintain a life of modesty and be temperate in all things there is honor and stability when a man is humble it's difficult to accuse a humble man pride pride sponsors accusation 
when people say things against you your humility can bail you out hallelujah please lift up your request and let's prophesy upon it if you have it if you don't have that's all right for those of you who are just coming the lord gave us an instruction and the instruction is that throughout this fasting period you write two sets of lists you've been hearing the amazing testimonies the first list is a list of your expectations you are holding on to the horns of the altar and praying and say lord this is what i want to see happen on the positive the second part of the list represent your challenges the things that have mocked god in your life you write it and he said these egyptians that you see you will see no more forever and the lord said every day i should keep speaking speaking over it and on friday prophetically we are going to set the list of those challenges on fire while it's burning we are going to lift up high praise the healer that praise that brought jericho down please don't miss friday friday is like a miracle service plus invite everybody including your enemy we are going to burn these things while it is burning not before we are going to sing and jump before the god of heaven is called the healer is a mystery and let's see the devil that will tie your destiny and keep you there please remember that every day we are breaking with communion we are breaking with communion if you do not take my blood and my my flesh and my blood you have no part in me it's very important hallelujah praise the lord please lift it up to the god of heaven as we pray ezekiah lifted the threat the threat and said oh god bow down your ears bow down your eyes and see this threat father you have instructed us and we are obedient i'm praying in the name that is above all names once again every challenge every altar listen i was speaking to a lady this this afternoon and her, her issue challenged me brothers and sisters there are altars that sponsor some of these pains we are going to judge it tonight lift lift up your in the name that is above all names every altar sponsored by the gates of hell that keep these challenges to be repeated in our lives it catches fire tonight in the name of jesus it catches fire tonight Shekapakata. it catches fire tonight in the name of jesus every spirit entity every human entity responsible for your pain responsible for your setback responsible for your weakness responsible for your delay your joblessness in the name that is above all names we command the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment the sword of judgment, sword of judgment. hallelujah after nine plagues pharaoh refused that israel will not go there was a time he said you can go but leave your wives and your children i like you there's no negotiation in this fasting time i can't go my health cannot go and leave my finances behind my, my finances cannot go and leave my marriage behind in the name that is above all names every power i say it again holding your marriage your destiny your business in the name of jesus I set it on fire now. 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 Hallelujah. Every spirit that has tied down the joy of your family so that there is only sounds of mourning. There are families that never rejoice. They are crying all the time. I pray for you let the voice of the accuser be silenced by the blood be silenced by the blood be silenced by the blood hallelujah the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to put an end to it 
hallelujah everything on your list that you are trusting God for that must happen we are praying there is an energy there is an ability of the Holy Spirit that makes it happen no matter how impossible it is oh God that answers prayer I pray that this this request will be turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now turned into testimonies now hallelujah turned into testimonies I pray for you finally on that list tonight as you sleep as a token of victory I pray may God give you strange dreams and visions tonight as a token of victory I activate your spirit man to receive signals dreams visions dreams see your victory in your dreams see your victory in visions see your victory in your dreams hallelujah listen you will have strange dreams tonight you will see yourself receiving things as it happens in your dream it must appear in the physical as it happens in the spirit it must appear in the physical hallelujah there was one of our mothers here the boy is doing architecture now the boy came stubborn he smokes everything drinks everything the woman was tired of him and she kept coming with her heart open one day the fire of God fell upon that boy's head let me tell you when God locates you no, no devil no devil hallelujah you've once had the story of promise promise remember his story he shared it here he came to Zaria with dreadlocks dreadlocks locks Bob Marley dreadlocks and earrings that's what he came to Zaria with but when the fire fell see what the fire can do the fire can change anybody let me tell you something please add the list of your unsaved loved ones if you have not done so don't say God cannot change them who told you Saul was on his way to Damascus fire fell on him I like you to pray and say Lord anyone in my family who is not saved may fire fall on them this night lift your voice and pray one minute my father must be saved my mother must be saved an encounter an encounter an encounter an encounter give them dreams let them see Jesus visions of heaven visions of hell give them encounters pray for your brother pray for your sister we snatch them from the hands of alcohol pornography immorality we snatch them from the gates of hell in the name of Jesus we snatch them we release the convicting power of the Holy Ghost pray for your father pray for your mother hallelujah revelations 5 verse 12 we're rounding up please as you go back listen let's use this fasting period to pray for our loved ones don't complain about them there is a spirit making them behave the way they are behaving stop attacking individuals challenge those spirits wake up in the night don't just snore your way this is a period of spiritual awakening one o'clock two o'clock knock the gates of heaven lord i i take this stubborn lady i bring her before the altar and let the fire fall on them 
don't sit down and be discussing and say you see you need to stop following men that's not the way out solve the problem there are spirits that manipulate the destinies of men revelations 5 verse 12 saying with a loud voice what is the lamb that was slain to receive what power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor the bible says by humility are riches and honor i prophesy to you in the name of jesus christ because of the spirit of humility upon you may the god that i serve lift you ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. where men have laughed at you and buried your case like lazarus we call that case out and we say it's the season of exaltation everything dying in your life i speak to it in this year of multiplied grace and influence rise to a new level rise to a new dimension prophetically rise to a new dimension spiritually rise to a new dimension financially rise to a new dimension now please hear me i want you to lay your hand anywhere you are trusting god for healing right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you i believe in the power of god jesus is real he really is he's alive I'm about to pray for you now all those outside and then those watching by television from any and every nation lay your hands right where and if you are with a sick person maybe in a hospital right now I want you to lay your hands creator of the universe what can you do what can't you do jesus you are the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change jesus creator of the universe what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want to pray now. Most sicknesses are caused by spirits beyond the medical diagnosis. There are wicked spirits that plague human beings. Listen, hold on, please. Do you know why healing is important i will tell you why healing is important because according to the law of creation every human is only given one body per lifetime you are not given two bodies per lifetime you have only one body that is a legitimate host to you the spirit man and anytime that body is deteriorating it is death making a proposal to your life there is a requisite level of health that the body must have for the spirit to remain. If the body degenerates and deteriorates beyond that threshold level, the spirit will have to live in the event you call death. So, every time God brings healing, it is his proposal to your longevity and health so that you remain and have a body that legitimizes you to operate in this side of his kingdom healing therefore is more than a demonstration of power from a man of God healing is an expression of God's love and God's mercy and his determination to see you continue and remain until your course on earth is over now you can receive knowing what you are receiving please lay your hands and I pray for you When I shout the name of Jesus, I want you to agree with me. Now hear me. We may not have all the time, but then we may just take the first five testimonies just to honor Jesus. 
there are dramatic miracles that will happen right now that have even already happened i'm going to pray as i rebuke those spirits i'm going to give you room to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you i want you to just come and stand in front here or here we'll have a few of the pastors who will take you we'll take one or two testimonies and then we'll do a prayer on the request and then just speak over taraba and we're done it will be a very quick walk hallelujah lay your hands there and let's pray now please lay your hands there in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now hear me there is a man who is going to shout loud under the anointing the moment that happens the power of god to heal will begin to move these are the leadings of the holy spirit these are not things they are not fabrications of a man it's just the instruction god is giving me a gentleman a strong anointing now is coming upon him and at that shout the power of god is going to begin to now i can begin to pray mm. i decree and declare right now every devil behind sicknesses and infirmities help them please my god i come against you in the name of he who died and rose again and i declare depart from the bodies of god's people now depart from the bodies of god's people now i decree and declare be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name blind eyes i command you to be open now deaf ears i command you to be open now those who came here with crutches and could not walk lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ anybody who was brought on a stretcher life to your body right now in the name of jesus christ HIV be healed now cancer be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now all kinds of blood related diseases be cleansed now in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman that God is healing you have something like a growth around your neck the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a lady or a woman you have suffered pile pile for a very long time the power of God is touching you right now heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus there are many people here I see according to my visions that have high blood pressure in Jesus name we command it to go down now There is a woman the Lord is showing me. I don't know what is your medical diagnosis, but they stopped you from eating salt. They said you should not eat salt. I don't know who that person is. I bring the life and the power of Jesus to you right now. There's someone you don't hear very well, or is it completely you don't hear with your right ear? The power of God is touching you now. In the name of Jesus Christ lower back pain i declare be healed now there's someone your hands you're not able to move your fingers freely there's excruciating pain the power of god is resting upon you now now every other issue whether i mentioned it or not someone just right here just where i'm touching there's severe pain that you've had there the power of god is touching you right now There is someone God is showing me you are a man of God when you stand on the stage to preach the moment you start shouting you start feeling dizzy almost as if you are losing breath it's a demonic thing be healed right now now whether I mention your issue or not I decree and declare be healed now 
outside be healed now online be healed now within the auditorium be healed now even for your family members scattered all around taraba and the nations may the healing power of jesus touch them right where they are in the in my life be glorified be glorified in my life lord be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. I just wanna say thank you. Thank you. you get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. I just wanna say thank you. Thank so in my life. for the night prayer point number one lord i obtain grace to be an effective witness more than a preacher go ahead and pray more than just my spiritual excellence i obtain grace go ahead and pray someone is praying are there people of prayer in kenya Preachers pray, businessmen pray. It's time for a mighty move of the spirit in and across Kenya, in and across East Africa. Go ahead and pray. I obtain grace to be an effective witness. As that revival fire comes, is the fire that makes me a witness. Go ahead and pray.
that fire falls in this dry pattern prophetic formation reveal to me the jurisdiction of my relevance am I a prophetic intercessor or one who will be sent into the cosmos or a kingdom financier or both of any of the three or all of them go ahead and pray call on to me he says and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not someone is praying In the name of Jesus, 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 I'm about to pray over your life. Please hear me. My God, such a strong anointing here. Now, please hear me. Just a few minutes. Tomorrow night, by the grace of God, will be a miracle service where will have the time dedicated to minister to the needs of God's people. But right now, what is happening tonight is an ignition. There are many of you who have come and there are graces that you must partake of. Are we together? In a few minutes, I want that grace to fall upon you. Now, for those who that grace will fall upon like we did in the afternoon, please may I request if you can, to just bring them here and I speak over their lives and we just move prophetically. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most Thousands and thousands, Yeshua. Ah, 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 intercession that mantle is coming on many people the grace to pray the grace to see the grace to take up the burden of nations I stretch my hands now let that fire fall on the count of three one two my god three take that grace now take that anointing now take that grace now spring of more well Prophetic wells. I unlock them by the Spirit. Prophetic wells. The hearing and the seeing eyes. Let it be released upon you now. Dimensions of prayer. Dimensions of fasting. Prayer groups arise. Prayer chains arise. The spirit of Elijah that empowers you to pray revival. May that grace come upon you now. Someone open your mouth and begin to pray. See the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your 
else is doing. Pick up this. Look at this. In one night. metal plate all the way down. There's a metal plate on your legs now. Yes. And the doctor said that I could not put weight on this side because of the... The doctor said she couldn't stand this way. So I haven't been able to 
walk since last year without these things. And today, look at me. Jesus, help me walk. Look. I'm not even limping. Just look. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can change what no man can change. Only you are able what no man can do. Only you can change what no man can change. Look at this gentleman. How long, sir? Eight months. What happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened? And I fell. My spine br got broken. His spine got broken. He's a police officer. They know you here. Where do you live? I live in Mbakasi. But I... Is there a place like that? Yes. But I come from Oloi Tok Tok. Um, I... that, that's where I live. What? was bedridden for four months. You were bedridden for four months. Let the devil see you now. Walk. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mama is dancing. Mama is dancing. How long has this been? It, it's been about uh, six weeks. Okay. What happened to you? I fell. I had a fracture. I I was. Uh, Look at this. Yeah. I had surgery. This. I came limping. With right now. What of right now? Walk. says yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord yes lord listen yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord Please look at me. 
I want you to believe miracles are real because you know unfortunately people have done all kinds of things in the body of Christ and so most times people just believe that everything that happens it, no there are people who fear God and if you're a man of God here and you're part of some of this drama and this nonsense that happens around Africa leave the you don't, there's no need faking what can be real you can be genuinely anointed by the Spirit of God it says how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power please do not miss tomorrow's service in the name of Jesus Christ may I request at the permission of your pastor that whilst coming tomorrow I want you to write out everything that must live your life every challenge at all for your loved ones who cannot make it I want you to please encourage them and those who are watching by way of television here in Kenya, East Africa, across Africa, all the globe, by whatever platform, I want you to know that you can participate. You can send in your prayer request and I'm going to be agreeing with you here. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we are going to do something prophetic here. In the course of the ministration, I'm going to be pleading with the fathers of the land. We are going to stand here as united Kenya and we're going to swing the tulip gates of Kenya to open Hita and Tita to be open for revival to be open for advancement and that every spirit that does not name the name of Christ we are announcing their exodus out of this land in the name of Jesus Christ we have to wrap up for those of you who are here we declare you are blessed for everyone here we declare you are blessed as you return back home you return in peace and you are led forth in joy fresh fire over your spiritual life a renewed appetite for spiritual things in the name of Jesus Christ everything that came here with you that represents a platform or a basis for more prayer point number one are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus Please shout it loud and clear in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that from this day forward, I make reasonable progress. Go ahead and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying everywhere in the name of Jesus. I make reasonable progress. Reasonable progress. The Bible says he went forward, he advanced until the philistines envied him he began to prosper and to go forward in the name of jesus from this day someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life i make progress koinonia makes progress in the name of jesus supernatural progress by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Shout he say in the name of Jesus. Everything required for my excelling in this new season. I receive it by faith. Go ahead and pray. Everything needed. Connections, resources, spiritual intelligence, access to the hearts of kings everything required for your excelling someone pray everything required man of god pray politician pray businessman pray and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work Shapra kate pakata prokotos kate lakash Embrantes kote barakosh kalifre kate baska sibata Elikatos kafrandas kabaragatosh kalifre kate I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ Everything needed for my excelling in this new season Rabata kaparatus kiata balasiata Hallelujah are you tired of praying say in the name of jesus every person 
and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor go ahead and pray every person and every platform they will walk in my favor announcing the good tidings of jesus the bible says when jesus was born there were there was a star that announced his arrival every person and every platform that should announce you announce your business announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activates them by prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always Shakrakete pakatoshka leka pranda kaparuskia embrekete katoshka leka praska begavas peace in the name of Jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are yet to write you're yet to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have anyone's left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare in the name of jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of jesus christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically i close every negative door i open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of jesus please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service september you are only returning with thanksgiving for in jesus name we pray shout a loud amen i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic the king that sent for joseph 
was not a believing king but he still sent for him i don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by god whoever must send for you for your rising i declare they send for you now everything you have started and yet not been able to complete by the power that raised christ from the dead we are getting into september september is the ninth month i decree and declare may this be the month where you give birth supernaturally that which has been locked up in your spirit in the name of jesus let me pray for everyone in ministry every pastor everyone serving the lord anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry in the name of jesus it dies permanently now i feel a strong stirring in my spirit to pray over families in the name of jesus i bow my knees to the lord of heaven any family here going through storms any family here that has been asking lord where are you in the name of jesus may my god and your god answer speedily answer speedily whoever has interrupted your helper and stopped them from coming to you in the name of jesus anyone who has come in the spirit of sambalat and tobias to stop what you are building from finishing i clear them out of the way now and whoever said where is your god may your testimony this week be the answer may your testimony this week be the answer in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for those who are in abuja here but i'm going to pray prophetically for everyone listen to me god is the god of portions any family that is yet to be structurally established i'm praying for you i want you to believe it in the name of jesus the resources and the access for god to give you your own place he called it rehoboth he said for god has given my I, my own space where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for god to honor you with structural establishment to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity i release that grace upon you now everyone jobless by miracle service september return with your employment letter every business that is dying or going down you come back to life now hear me in the name of jesus even though i know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but i want to place a mark of exemption upon you i decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you i say it again let it be minus you in the name of jesus christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember month by the power that raised christ from the dead for as long as you're on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you <laughs> hallelujah the poverty in the land seems to have multiplied evil people now boggle people's homes boggle people's cars and steal things sometimes petty things because they feel they want to make ends meet in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months in the name of jesus in one minute i know that our time is gone but as a family of faith 
I want us to pray for Nigeria in one minute. Lord, step in over this nation. Go ahead and pray in one minute. This is the only nation that we have. I'd like you to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the national anthem says, guide our leaders right, help our youth the truth to know. In love and honesty to grow, go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, let things work in this nation. Pray for our universities. Pray for the ASU strike. Pray for the security situation. Pray for the election coming. Pray for everything. Lord, establish your purposes in this nation. We cry and we decree and declare that the reign of darkness comes to an end. Harassment of lives and properties come to an end. We take responsibility as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we contribute our quota to pray for our nation. We pray for the peace of Nigeria. We prosper because we love it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Finally, let me pray over your spiritual life. We are first a people who are spiritual. And our work with God, our spiritual understanding, the character of the Christ in us is priority. No matter what else we have, if our spirituality is troubled, then we're in trouble. Are we together? Let me remind you that in order of priority, your relationship with God, your passion for his presence, your passion for prayer, your passion for fasting, your passion for the word of God, your passion for the house of God. These are biblical indices that measure your spiritual health. And if at any point in your life, these indices fall or falter, it means something is wrong. In as much as I've spoken over every other area of your life, it is important that your spiritual fire remains strong, that you are spiritually vibrant and alive. Are we together? Whether you buy cars or houses, if you are going down spiritually, you are not growing in knowledge. This is why week after week we gather. Every meeting is a miracle service, but we dedicate time the last um, Sunday of every month to be able to minister to the needs of people. But it is important that you submit yourself to gain thorough spiritual understanding. I pray for you. The fire that is upon your altar will not go down. I pray for you anyone suffering from spiritual laziness you've seen that the last one month the last few weeks your prayer life has gone down no grace to fast no grace to pray in the name of Jesus I declare be free from that oppression I pray for you from tonight as you open your Bible let light come from Scripture in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you, may your life, even your ministry, let it be characterized with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any wrong relationship around your life that is impeding your spiritual growth, I cut you away from it permanently. And I, I reintroduce godly people into your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, beginning from tonight, let it be a week of supernatural encounters angelic encounters encounters with jesus christ encounters with the light from the word for in jesus name we pray thank you very much for the sacrifice of your time and your presence we're wrapping up please let's move my screen now let me encourage you please and please once you leave there are so many people God is for us and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us God can stand against us and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then who could stand against us let me give you one prayer point shout it loud and clear say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that tonight is my night. Go ahead and begin to pray. I decree and declare that which makes for my rising, that which makes for my lifting, in the mighty name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Someone pray. 
that mantle, that unction, that grace that must rest upon me, I receive by faith. You are sick in your body, begin to pray. Hallelujah. Don't worry if you are under the anointing, just leave them. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Kingdom come, thy will be done. In Kenya. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at now, I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. Now, please hear me. There are so many people here, and the ushers are limited. So, when I ask you to bring those under the anointing, please, whether you are an usher or not, just help those under the anointing close to you so they don't injure themselves. And if you have to help bring them out, just bring them out gently, and then you return back to your seat. Are you ready now? I want to rebuke every unclean spirit. There are spirits that have tied down men and destinies. Tied down families. I have come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. For the Bible says, upon Mount Zion, it says, there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. That name that has been exalted above every other name. And as you shout that name, every spirit that is not of the Christ, responsible for infirmities must give way. Kenya, are you ready? Father, I decree and declare over Kenya and over everyone here, spirits of ancestry, yokes of darkness, at the count of three, let God's people go. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, go now. I command every devil by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Yokes, be broken. Please bring them out quickly. Yokes, be broken. Ordinances, covenants of ancestry by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Demonic patterns that have tied down families, demonic patterns that have tied down destinies. We bring the message of deliverance over Kenya in the name of Jesus every spirit spying upon the liberty of God's people be free now be free now be free now for the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross while praying I prayed yesterday and the Lord is asking me to pray the same prayer the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies right now at the count of three may that anointing bring you liberty wherever you are father bring deliverance I prophesy speed 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 go ahead and begin to pray I declare my liberty from every delay everything that has tied me down by the power that is in the name of Jesus i 
deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Hear me. The spirit that prohibits people from making progress. He said, I desire to come to you once and again. But Satan hindered us. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I declare be delivered now. Hindering churches from rising, be delivered now. Hindering businesses from rising, be delivered now. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. He said, but I have sent carpenters, four carpenters. I come as a privileged carpenter in the name of Jesus. No matter how long the oppression has been, be delivered now. hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me shortly before I begin to pray for the sick the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a door and I'm seeing a padlock on it and the Lord is telling me this is a representation of many people's destinies the Lord is asking me to prophesy that opening I'm going to pray now and the power of God will come upon you I speak to every closed door, every closed destiny, by the apostolic and the prophetic, in the name of he who died and rose again. Ephata, be open, heater and teeter. Ephata, be open. Doors, be open. Gates, be open. Doors, be open. Gates, be open. hallelujah for all who have come out by the spirit this is not just some pentecostal charismatic jamboree god is in the business of releasing people those of you in front here i command the spirits that have oppressed you in the name of jesus let them go now go 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 out of their lives in the name of jesus we bring liberty for where the spirit of the lord is the Bible declares that there is liberty. Kenya, let me prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost. Everything that was stolen Come on prophesy Everything, everything that was lost Shall be returned unto you Everything that was stolen Shall be returned Personalize that prophecy Everything that was lost Shall be returned unto me Everything that was stolen Shall be returned unto you we bring liberty in the name of Jesus now I'm about to pray for the sick but in Jesus name if you came here carrying any bracelet or any crutch or anything and you could not walk in the name of Jesus lift it up now and walk lift it up now and walk by the power that raised Christ from the dead lift it up now and walk Please don't force anybody. Lift it up now. Make sure they are walking. Don't put pressure on anyone. In the name of Jesus, I release miracles right now. Everywhere. Miracles right now. Everywhere. Miracles right now. Everywhere.
Now listen. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now. Lay your hands. Any part of your body you are trusting God for healing, lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I'm about to pray for you. Now watch this. When these people are fine, they can return back to their seat to clear the way. Here's what I want you to do. Please let me have maybe two pastors here and two pastors here. We are going to pray. And the moment the power of God touches you, I'm going to ask you to check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, we'll give you room to run and come here. A few pastors will examine you and then we'll take a few testimonies. May I again request that those who are helping me with the flags, please, if you do get the flags and you're ready, let's have it so that we'll drop it here. We're about to do something prophetic over Kenya. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now lay your hands. I'm going to pray for you right now. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Miracles are already happening. What is that? It's like a miracle has happened there. Give Jesus praise. Now please lay your hands. Let's work with time. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles. There is no one else like you. There is no to walk in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands here. I want to pray for you. A miracle has happened. Look at this. Look at this. Bring them up here. You are great. You do miracles. Listen. Another miracle there. There's another miracle there. Remember what I taught you. Listen. 
someone has been healed please don't put pressure on anyone if they are not strong and they cannot walk please don't force them pastors help them we are not faking it here please don't put pressure on anyone get a seat for them please just bring those who have been fully healed that we can testify don't put pressure on anyone please please don't put pressure on anyone who cannot walk please pastors please ensure that please look at this someone is walking there someone is walking there come on Kenya holy 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 are you Lord let me pray those who have been healed from wheelchairs and crutches are not the only ones sick so we are going to be praying right now look at this another miracle has happened my God look at this ladies and gentlemen this right here is a statement from heaven is more than saying a man is anointed no joshua selman is too small a reason for this greater than a man this is a revelation of the love of jesus that he's alive alive indeed lay your hands let me pray for you now agree with me in the name of jesus can you shout a loud amen? amen in the name of Jesus amen. I want to release miracles now in the name of Jesus amen. every devil of infirmity amen. I command that you leave God's people now amen. leave God's people now amen. hallelujah in the name of Jesus every blind eyes be open now look at this this is for who look at this I remember you remember seeing this in TL Osborne's crusades where a leg will grow out supernaturally amazing what God can do we are praying every blood condition be healed now HIV be healed now cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open now every lump breast lumps I command that you disappear now peptic ulcer be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you have a severe back pain around your lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus someone you came here you're not completely blind but you could not see well with your right eye check it now I command that eye to be opened now the Lord is showing me someone you couldn't lift your hands i don't know if it's stroke or something check yourself now i command those hands to be released now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now hear me the lord is showing me at least four people i'm seeing growths in your stomach something that looks like fibroids in the name of Jesus I command that it dissolves and disappears now 
high blood pressure it goes down now in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure goes down now please can we have pastors to help them please don't force anyone please if they are not yet strong just give them a seat to sit down please don't put pressure on anyone please hallelujah place your hand I'm praying for you there's someone your I don't know it looks like your tie it's like you have a problem with it I don't know what the problem is but in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of God touch you right now anyone with stroke be healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you could not smell I don't know it's like you lost your sense of smell I command that it be restored now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please sit down for one minute and have the prophetic focus for tomorrow it gets hotter by the day and I'm encouraging us please from tomorrow Wednesday down till Friday please don't miss the meetings again because it's going to be prophetic we have been establishing principles now from tomorrow we are going to be confronting things controlling spirits territorial powers are we together we are not just teaching principles again is rising hotter because there are entities who are alive and can hear us we need to force them to give way for the opening of our destiny so please please if you can invite your family members no even if they are stubborn just leave them they can be playing around just leave them there when the fire falls and that spirit that is responsible leaves them they will step into a new dimension hallelujah tomorrow the prophetic focus we're going to be praying the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers there is no man that can rise to anywhere of worth without a connection to another man the breakthrough of every man is in the hands of another man the employment of everybody is in the hands of somebody every billion that will come to your account is in somebody's account already it won't fall from heaven but there is a mystery that connects men write these two scriptures we have to pray please i'd like you to pay attention tomorrow by god's grace we'll give more time please those conducting when you come do everything you have to do fast so that we can have the prayer session and i want us to really stretch and pray because you need a man introduced in your life this week there is somebody that must appear to wipe your tears somebody shared with me a testimony today it is something i can't share here many of you will not even believe it a breakthrough god just brought somebody and just connected him i'm talking of multi millions just came like rain for doing nothing that's what the same way a wicked man can come into your life and not just subtract divide your life into two the lady was behaving well until a stupid boy came into her life and divided her life a gentleman was doing well until a very bad girl came into his life satan uses men to destroy men god uses men to build men are we together tomorrow we are going to also be seeing the prophetic implication of association please listen that you are not a true christian if it does not affect your association don't say i'm the only one the rest are drinking but i'm not taking it no if you are a child of god your atmosphere matters in your life please don't miss it there are people who must hear this message second samuel second samuel the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers second samuel 9 verse 1 to 11 you read there the story of Mephibosheth Mark chapter 2 those who will be leading it will expound on it Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 12 2 Samuel 9 verse 1 to 11 please we give this prophetic focus so that you can pray right you pray so beginning from tonight 
when you go back you begin to pray lord who are the men that must appear in my life as a sister you pray not just husband who are the people who must show up in my life there are some of us who have seen patterns in our lives the moment god is about to lift you certain people show up they call you former relationships how are you now can you come to judge you? are we together and strange things happen and if god grants us grace either tomorrow or next we will consider unwanted partners wicked spirits that visit us we are not just talking of destiny helpers like just people coming there are destiny killers and we need to identify them and deal with them there are many people when god is about to lift you a strange man who claims he knows you comes to you in the dream sleeps with you or does all kinds of things and you get up somebody who was going to bless you will say i've changed my mind they told you it does not matter see what is happening in your life we are going to deal with it in the name of jesus by the grace of god we believe the full gospel in koinonia we will deal with everything that should be dealt with many ladies are under the trap of this thing i'm telling you it's just that we are not sincere in church so everybody will just claim they just say just act as if nothing is happening something is happening and there is a mystery to it hallelujah someone will ask you out about to marry you say let's go and see your parents that strange man comes in and say you are playing with me you wake up in the morning and the brother says i don't know what happened but something is convicting me that you're a wicked lady i don't want you whereas you're a kind beautiful nice worker in the house of god it's not just about saying god give me this give me that there are spirits strangers that come to connect us this is the mystery of things like fibroid this this demonic growth all over the bodies of people and if there is anybody here having anything planted in you i'm prophesying it before we close anything that is planted in your body that did not come from god in the name of jesus christ like that gun fell before the ark it must flush out of your body tonight i'm saying it again it must flush out of your body tonight every stranger who has planted any growth lump on your breast whatever it is around your body i just felt like doing this before we leave and in the name of jesus i'm saying it any growth around any part of your body from your head to your toe sponsored by any wicked stranger we judge it tonight in the name of jesus use this fasting period to fight everything that is not of god don't say it's not paining me it must go it must go because it may not pain you now until it starts growing and they will tell you it's cancer nip it and kill it there and it must die hallelujah it says from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom suffered violence it advances forcefully and only forceful men advance it so please don't tolerate anything anything that mocks you take it to the list anything that mocks you take it to the my eye i mean I'm, I'm feeling pain take it there don't sit down and say it's all right it happens every dry season take it there it must be dealt with hallelujah yes ladies please take it seriously don't say oh my own is something i'm used to i grew up with it like that please write it and say god this is not normal i've been keeping quiet about it but now i won't be silent with it again hallelujah tomorrow i'd like us to listen to two messages please activating breakthroughs the ministry of destiny help us no matter how many times you've listened to it please i'm going to listen to it this night almost right away when i go back please listen to it i teach there on the ministry of destiny help us and that's going to be our emphasis please fast i beg you in the name of jesus uh the children can fast maybe till afternoon and then you stop if you are pregnant or you're on advice medication you may avoid the fast but still pray praise the lord make sure that everybody participates fully participate fully tell your family members tell them there is a fasting period if they can't fast for seven days let's take the last three days and stretch it very well let's take the last three days hallelujah wednesday thursday friday let's not joke with it god will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 
please rise up on your feet we honor everyone who has made it from far and near i pray that my god will bless you there are so many people when i was coming i was saying i'm so touched by the diligence of people people standing almost every day please make sure you invite all your loved ones and tell them fire is burning on this mountain hallelujah lord we give you all the praise in the name of jesus after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people greet everyone around you if you can and tell them the lord is taking you higher in the name of jesus the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain